Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is Amores Dimba. Today we are going to do some stiffening on our silo. The stiffening will comprise of four circular web plates and uh, some gasset plates around the cylindrical part of the silo. Now when you take a look, you find that we've I have actually generated the the four semicircular web plates and the gasset plates will be placed in between these web plates. We will generate the gasset plates and and then show you how I came up with these gussets uh, with these web plates will kick off let's go to navigate to rotate before we generate our gasset plates we need four points to guide us on the profile of the of the plate we need we'll go to edit go to points pick any position we want to snap at that point and snap at this point and snap at this point also click there go to view navigate turn around let's turn zoom closer go to edit points at any position click there right click disable that command go to steel go to plate we want to pick this as our first point click that point link it up with that point join with this point rotate join it with this point also Go to navigate, rotate. Right click to disable that rotation command. Join it here. Disable that command. Here is our plate. Confirm the thickness of the plate. Go to edit, measure. Click that corner and this corner is 25 millimeter. It's changeable by double clicking on the plate and come to profile. You can change this to any thickness you want. Just type that and also feed 30. And click OK and apply. Click there. Now we want to populate this around the cylindrical part of the silo. Now we want to see only these four webs and the plates. The rest we, we, we will hide. Now to hide every uh, to hide these parts, we will select the parts we need only click that right click come to show only selected click on the screen come to view you can see this split and this split
switch to 3D. Navigate, navigate to 3D plane, gasset plate. The gasset plate, I mean, we will press Control 2. Go back to 3D. Control 4. Navigate around. Just click and rotate. Click and rotate. Click there. Rotate. There you are. Let's rotate. You want to rotate it about this point. Right click, disable that command, switch to 3D plane. Press Control 2. Click on the screen. Now we want to populate this plate around this cylindrical part of the silo. What we will do, we'll set the, the, mid, the midpoint which the plate will rotate about, which is the middle point. This is the middle point of the, of the, of the cylinder. Now, to set the points, come to Edit, go to Points, Online, Pick that point and pick this point. And pick that point. This will set uh, our center or the origin of the rotation of the plate. What we will do now, we'll go to applications and component and type radial. Double click on the radial, come to plate here, click on the plate, press the middle button on the mouse. You can check here, the program is asking us to pick the mid or the origin point of this rotation. Click there, again it's asking us to show the direction of X axis. Our axis is here. We'll point that and point this as our Y axis. Y axis direction. There we are. Right click, disable that command, click OK. Close this. You don't need it. Don't need it anymore. Go to view. Switch to 3D. We've generated our gasset plates. Click on the screen. We want to bring back everything that was hidden. Click and highlight. Right click on the screen. Show with exact lines. There you are. Press Control 4. Navigate. Click there and rotate. We've generated our gasset plate. To stiffen our cylinder. Now, I want to show you how I came about these four circular web plates. Come to navigate, rotate that. I want to hide everything and remain in the cylinder only. Click on the cylinder, right click, 
show only selected. Click selected. The 3D plane. I want to locate points that will guide me to generate the curved profile of these circular web plates. I'll come to edit, come to points, any position. I'll click this point, I'll click that point, and come all the way to this point. I need three points. And finalize the third one here. Click there. Right click to disable that command. I'll go to steel, beam, curved beam. I'll pick the, my first point there. And come to my second point here. My second point there. And end my third point here. This is exactly what I wanted. I'll go to view, switch to 3D plane. I'll go to that elevation. Double click on the screen. Put that zero. Put this also zero. I'll pick that, right click, and copy it from this point, from that point, zoom out, and bring it right top here. expand go to view switch to 3d mode rotate click this right click copy I need this point here. Delete that. Undo that, undo everything. Undo everything. navigation, go to rotate, double click on the screen, feed this zero, and feed this also zero, click that, apply OK, press Control 2, Control 4.
click that pick that copy before you copy press control 2 right click copy pick it from that point place it there control 4 pick it or special copy mirror I want my mirror line to be here I want this to be my mirror line I'll click copy right click to disable that command okay now once you've done that you copy this to this end add some measurement we will wind up at that point and continue the rest on the next episode you can check around Thank you for watching, I hope you've learned something, now we will delete this, delete this, and delete that, remember to save your work. Thanks for watching again.